All right, folks, we have here a Quantum 1450 power chair. This is a extra, extra large power chair, so you need to pay attention to the numbers, the size I'm gonna give you. So this power chair here has the electric tilt, one function electric tilt. This power chair, folks, uh, has a capability of 600 pound capability. Um, all the functions can be worked through the joystick. As you can see on the front of the chair right now, we have both of them. We have the adjustable legs right here, which you can take off if you don't want to. And you also have, you also have the foot plates. I'm gonna take the legs off for now, but these, are, these come with this chair, okay? So we'll put those over here. And you have also <clears throat> an extra large foot plate. I think this foot plate is 17 by 15 extra large. When you flip it up, you can see where it's at. Now it does go above the cushion a little bit. If you want to avoid that, we can raise the seat under the, under the chair higher. Right now the seat is from ground to the top of the seat is 22. So if we made the seat 24 inches, the foot plate would be level with the seat. So it's up to you guys if you're going to buy this chair, how you want that set up. Now, I, tell, <laughs> I told you earlier it has electric tilt. So to make the chair go back, you would go to your knob where you turn the power on and keep going forward until you see a picture of your seat on here. So now I see a picture of the seat. As soon as you see that seat in there, push it back. And when you push it back, you will see the seat tilting back. Okay, so there you go. Now, you, as you can see, when you tilt back, your legs are not going to, the foot plate is not going to move just the way it's built. But if you had the extended legs, you could still have your, your feet go up with the seat. This is called the electric tilt, okay? It's available on this chair. And this is as far as you'd be able to go. And it's still going. There we go. That's as far as you'll be able to go with the tilt. I'm gonna bring the tilt back down. This is got this chair has also has a swing away joystick, so you can get a lot closer to a dining table without hitting your joystick. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side and it would swing on the left side. Okay. These arms are adjustable in the height, so you can drop there's two more holes. So if they're too high, you can drop them down two more holes if you need them lower to the seat, because the seat is here. Okay. That's that. So let's look at the chair itself. Let's bring it here. Let's turn it facing you guys. All right. So now, as you can see, it's, a, it's an extra large foot plate. You can see how solid this chair. I'm staying right on the foot plate. Nothing's happening. I'm not saying you should do that, but I want to show you it's built like a tank. Okay. You can see the heavy suspension in the front. It's got the same in the back. It does have a couple scratches. I think it's from the foot plate here and here. I'm not going to fix that. It's not worth it. The seat is 24 by 22. So the seat is 24 wide by 22. You might have an extra inch, 25 inches between. So you could actually say 25 inches. Uh, and if you take these lateral pads out, if you don't need them and you take these out, um, Okay, so if you take them out, if you don't need the lateral pad, then you'd have about 26 inches under the arms right here. And they do come out, they're just stuck between this arm right here. So we can take them out, then you'd have 26 inches. Your cushion would be 24, but you could have a couple more inches to spread out if you need that spread out. Okay, so the arms are solid arms. You can push as much as you want on because they're... They're fixed to the side of the chair, so they're not going to flip up. So a lot of people ask me, well, will they flip up? No, because this chair right here, you know, you can see the arms are go right to the frame. They can be taken off. They can be taken off, but they will not flip off. Okay, so if you transfer from the side or you use a Hoyer lift, yes, you can, you can take them off like this, but they're not going to do this. Okay, just want to make sure you understand that. And this is the, the turning radius on this, on this chair. You can see how the chair turns in a circle. So if you're going to use it, you can see how it turns really well. As I said, this chair has 34 miles. It has super heavy duty tires in front. Huge knobby tires are about this wide. You can see how big they are. Big 
caster wheels in the back with a double, uh, double set of fork on the back. You have a motor for each wheel. The motor's right here, you can't see it, but there's a motor connected directly to the hub on each side. So this chair, folks, weighs 479 pounds, a little less than 500 pounds. That's how much this chair weighs. So you're not gonna be lifting this chair, but if you had to push it, if you had an issue and you need to push it, all you have to do is go to your motor. You see the yellow lever right here? Push it down, and now you're in neutral. You can see the motor now while I turn it sideways. While I do that, let me show you the back. In the back, you have push bars on this chair, okay? So if you had to push it, you can push it with the push bars. If you have to change the batteries, they come out from here, okay? So the batteries come out for me. There's two batteries, they're 75 amps. They just take these two yellow knobs and they come right out from the back. Very easy to change the batteries. I'm gonna bring it back over here. I'm gonna put it back in gear. I'm gonna turn the power back on. And the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance when you're pushing it, okay? So now I've got the power back on. I'm gonna go to speed four. That's the fast speed. You also have an anchor point here and here, so if you need to secure your chair, you can tie it here and here. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. You also have a, a lot extra large safety belt. You have an adjustable headrest, okay, that can be removed if you don't want the headrest. When you charge the batteries on this chair, you will take your quantum charger and you'll plug it right below the joystick and as soon as the light turns green, you're fully charged. One more thing, folks, I want you to remember, from outside a joystick to outside an arm is 33 inches. 33 inches from here to here. So if you have a 30-inch door, I wouldn't try it, okay? You're going to need a 36-inch door to get this chair in your house, okay? So from here to here is 33 inches, the widest part. The base is a little less, but because the seat is so big, the joystick and the arms, everything's pushed out. So remember that number, folks, 33 inches. And remember, this chair has 34 miles, so it's literally brand new. It has the electric tilt. It has a solid, solid tires, solid tires in the back. It has the HD motor, the HD seat. It has the HD tilt, the extra large foot plate, the lateral knee pad that can be removed right here by pushing this button right here. And you have the anchor point, the adjustable headrest, the push bars. So if you're looking for an HD, HD chair, and it also comes with the manual, uh, the manual adjustable legs in front. So this one is ready to go, folks. So this is the Quantum 1450 with a 600 pound weight capability with an extra large seat, extra large foot plate with the electric tilt. Everything is perfect, rides like a brand new one, which should, it only has 34 miles. Then when it stops, it has built-in brakes, so it stops automatically. So even if you're going downhill or uphill and you let go, it'll stop in the middle of the hill for you. You can use the joystick as a, as a gas pedal. So if I just push it a little bit, you can see I'm barely moving. So you can use it as a gas pedal, or you can reduce the speed. You have four speeds on here. You can just reduce it here. has plenty of power uh, super super powerful chair not a not the fastest chair in the world about four and a half miles an hour they're not built for speed the motors are set up they're HD for torque for power so this chair has a 650 weight uh, I'm sorry 600 pound weight capability it has the electric tilt the seat is 24 but if you have a couple more inches you can use inside of the chair so it could be 26 if you look at it that way the back can be adjusted. If the back is too straight for you, we can adjust the back right here. There's two screws. We can push the back manually another inch so it does not so straight. Or you could just use the tilt and tilt yourself back. It has the extra foot, the extra large foot plate. 
Uh, so if you need an HD chair, but remember when you buy this chair, 33 inches is the total width from outside to outside. So do your measurement before you order it. Other than that, this is a nice chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.